Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to run through, including a source taking responsibility for lighting up rumors about the Eminem Surprise album that was supposed to drop on the 23rd of this month. And this apology includes a response to a point I made in a previous video about this quite specific, which makes me believe the source probably saw my video and will be ending it with a quote-unquote fan criticizing Eminem on the post to which Westside Gone responded. As we dive in, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, and you can support this video by hitting the like button, and for more, find me on social media at italifestyle underscore web. So this was posted on Reddit and it states, public apology from the owners of On Thin Ice about the Eminem situation, and if you missed the memo, there have been rumors of Eminem working on a new project from several sources, an album slated to be released in 2020, and some sources took things further to claim it was dropping this October. The rumors hit overdrive after the source On Thin Ice chimed in with claims that a superstar rapper was dropping on the 23rd, which didn't happen, and the public apology states, wanted to address Thursday night and the events that occurred with the surprise drop. We were tipped off of a project coming, multiple rumors and theories surrounding it, then we were tipped off from a very connected member of the community. At 9pm Thursday, things were still in motion and the project was still set to drop. Midnight came and I honestly don't know what happened. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but here's the section of the apology that addressed my previous video about pages on Twitter covering their tracks by deleting tweets about the non-existent Eminem album. It states, the decision to delete the tweets from the entire weekend was not damage control. We thought it was better to clear any more confusion being created. This in public perception will be seen as a quick grab of clout and followers, but we care more about credibility and hate that we jeopardize the trust we've built up over the past six months. I'll leave it at that, but you get the point. And the user reacted to this with, I mean, Eminem really went psych, brother, you thought at midnight. Here's a number. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! Jokes aside, it looks like the COV-19 affected Eminem's plans with music to be murdered by and he's moved on to creating new music instead, like many sources have suggested including Bad from Bad Meets Evil. And I believe late 2020 to early 2021, something's coming from him and right now we know it's not a new Bad Meets Evil project according to Bad, but I'm loving all the smoke so far, it means the fire is probably not far away. Next up today is about more shade thrown at Shady from Griselda. We've covered a few on this channel and I believe the last one was when Conway threw some shade at Shady and this time it's from Westside Gun. Eminem posted on social media in three consecutive days now and fans are so hungry that this doesn't go unnoticed. But Eminem's latest was a post about the Alchemist's latest project The Food Villain where Eminem states, My concert DJ and cohort Alchemist just dropped his new project The Food Villain now of course, when it comes to Eminem, many these days think he's obliged to do exactly what they want in their mind. And the user responds to Eminem on IG, no post of Westside Gone album that's in your own label, WTF. And guess who was also lurking in the comments section to dignify this with a response? Westside reacted with emojis, laughing and ending it with a shh. And the user dropped the fact hammer on Reddit in response, took the words right out of my mouth with something I've pointed out on this channel several times. I'd love to know what their contract is with Shady Records. People keep forgetting that being signed to a label doesn't equate promotion. If the contract doesn't mention anything promotional and isn't obligated to post, this isn't difficult to understand. Also love how he conveniently doesn't want to mention that the Shady Records IG made 12 separate posts in a row promoting his album. People just love to drag Eminem any chance they get and they forget that he's a separate entity from Shady Records. Here's an example. Just because you're signed to Rock Nation doesn't mean Jay will have to post about you from his personal accounts on social media. And it just happens that Griselda also has a deal with Rock Nation, but nothing so far from Jay. But when it comes to Eminem, he is criticized for some odd reason. And while Westside is stirring up drama, here's Benny the Butcher right now, he just shared this. Benny the Butcher earns Griselda's highest charting Billboard 200 debut, to which he added, not bad for a 35-year-old independent rapper, imagine what I'ma do when 
stay tuned. In response to a user stating Eminem doesn't care about Griselda, a user drops this. Eminem is not responsible for their project's rollout and promo. The labels they are signed on are. Rock Nation is one of the labels they have a contract with, but I don't see Rock Nation doing anything big for them as well. Also, M has given them full artistic control, so he does care. So what are your thoughts on these topics? Comment below and see you on the next one.